welcome back to the channel boys and girls and today we have another overlook video for you guys so this one should be very exciting so this one is for those of you who have been in tune to the speedwino world yesterday you would have seen that weaver over at wtm tronics gave a quick introduction on the pages the facebook pages of this little guy so what i have in my hand here is the oslot ECU for the Speedwino platform made by WTM Tronics Weaver Markel. All right, so as usual, I will give you guys a quick overview. We look at the side, so not much going on at the back here. The top and bottom, same thing, not much going on here. So most of the business is at the front here. So this guy is, like I said, it's called the Oslot. ECU, so it's a four channel ECU made by WTM Tronics, right? So this one is intended to be the bigger brother and soon to be the replacement for the ever popular Speedwino UA4C. So the UA4C has been probably the most popular four channel Speedwino ECU ever since it was introduced about five to seven years ago, roughly. We've seen it used in many, many things and it's probably one of the most well used and well documented um, boards around there right so this one like i said is intended to be the bigger brother so what we have here is an um, uh, aluminum hammond enclosure uh, let me get the measurements for you guys again i have my trusty multimeter which does not have a battery in it so i'm just gonna go here so width wise we're looking at 102 millimeters right I would say this is the length, a length with the connector is 111 milli millimeters and without it, just the enclosure, we're looking at around 85 millimeters. So for the thickness, those of you interested, we're looking at roughly 31 millimeters. All right, so a lot smaller. Um, a lot shorter sorry than the ua4c right so let's get into the details so what's new on this one so on the front here we have a motorsport style connector again this is bridging the gap between what speedino started off as and then trying to make it um ever closer to being a motorsport style ecu so we have a motorsport motorsport style connector here again i cannot recall the name of this connector off the top of my head but you will be getting this connector you can have the option to have it soldered on or not and it comes with the other end the female end which just plugs into here and then you can use that to build your harness from that this has the same feature set as the ua4c so again those of you who are familiar with it anything you can do with a ua4c four channels um for fuel and spark. Um, I think we have four high current outputs and we have about eight low current outputs, which typically you use for um, controlling relays for fuel pump and your fan relay and whatnot. It does have one extra pin over the UA4C, which is um, being used as the vehicle speed sensor. So now the vehicle speed sensor is directly on the connector now. Moving over to the extreme left, we have our usual USB connector, very popular. Same connector is being used by a bunch of other Speedwino ECUs, um, Haltex, and for the most part, pretty much all the common ECUs. We have a hose barb here, and this has a line which goes to the onboard map sensor, just like the UA4C, this does have a four bar map sensor so you have the ability to to do up to three bars of boost three bars of boost is roughly 44 psi to those of you who like the psi numbers on the inside which i'm not going to open up we also have the usual stuff but the most important the most exciting bit about this one is that the arduino now is on the pcb so the arduino is not separate to the pcb it's actually built into the circuit board i will probably go ahead and put up a picture of that circuit board of this board the oslot on the screen
and you will see that the Arduino is on board. We also have the usual add-on, so we can add on a Bluetooth module also sold by WTMtronics. Um, you can also do serial free provisions, which you would typically use for uh, aftermarket dash and whatnot. And Canvas is possible with additional hardware. So for the most part, you don't need to buy an Arduino. Everything is contained on this one board and it's very, very small. So those of you who are already concerned about size on a motorcycle and whatnot, this one is even smaller. Right, so again, I will put the details um, for WTM Tronics's website, the listing for this one in the description. So you can go over, over there and pick one up. I think it is still under $200 last time I checked. Again, but don't quote me. I just basically browsed it real quick before I went on to do this video this morning. And this one will, as always, be available from all of the other Speedwino dealers um, around the world. Um, so if you guys need me to cover anything specific about this one, let me know. Um, I'm very excited to use this one. So no more Arduino external to the board so typically you'd have the board and then you will have the arduino plugin on this one is everything is contained in one tiny sexy little unit um the other thing i also hear people ask a lot well they ask me and i see it being asked on the forums a lot is about the arduino tuning to use a speed you know you do not need to know anything about programming an arduino everything is very simple including compiling or uploading the firmware to this there is an app uh, program sorry called speedy loader you just do that couple clicks the firmware is loaded and then from there you use tuner studio which is the tuning interface which you will use to tune this little guy and use tuner if you just perform one quick google search you'll find that tuner studio is used by a bunch of other issues out there so i just wanted to put that out there for you guys and uh, again speedino oslot from WTM Tronics, soon to be the bigger brother, and I'm guessing the replacement for the UA4C. So this one is gonna be a big hit. I can sense it already. So you guys get to see it here. First look. Yeah, so, all right. So again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.